like I said when we started up, that's what we doing. We we bid y'all to the marriage, the hope for the let. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the only people that's gonna listen. You know? This is St. John chapter 4, verse 23. Right. But the hour cometh, and now is when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Right, because everybody worships God and Jesus Christ. But the true worshipers, the hope or hopeful elect, are gonna worship Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shah. You don't you don't hear that name in no church for real. I mean, this is church. But one of your fucking buildings made with hands of stone. You know, the fucking abominable buildings that y'all fucking so-called worship the Heavenly Father and His Son in. You know, y'all don't say the name Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, but y'all not the true worship, the elected. You know? Right. It says, But the hour cometh and now is when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Spirit and truth. You know what I'm saying? Huh. For the Father seeketh such to worship Him. Keep going. Yeah. Yahweh is a spirit. And they that might worship, like and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Spirit and truth, you know what I'm saying? Spirit and truth, you know, truth. Like you can't, you know how people pervert the Bible like they'll be like, that don't mean that. They, and they know in their heart that's what it means. Like people switch words in the Bible to make, to fit their wickedness. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I ain't gonna say no names, but I had somebody tell me that they can eat pork because the scripture says, it's not what you take in, but what you, what, you, what comes out. That's not, yeah, get, yeah, you get, that's not talking about food. That's talking about philosophies. You know what I'm saying? Like, I remember we said that one, one week, like, let's say, let's say if I was a Muslim, right, and I was talking to this brother, and he's in the truth, he can sit there and listen to me all day. It's not, it's, he's not going off. But as soon as he was, comes to this camp and say, yo, uh, that Quran shit sound kind of right, then he's going off. So it's not, that's what that means. The philosophy, you know what I'm saying? You can't regurgitate wickedness. You, can, you know, we, we dwell around wickedness every day, you know what I'm saying? But you can't stand by it. You can't uphold wickedness. You can't, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, justify wickedness. Justi uh, you can't justify wickedness, man. Uh, real quick, before I get that, I got it though. I want to bring this out. This is Malachi chapter one, verse 14. But cursed be the deceiver, which hath in his flock a male, and voweth and sacrifices unto the Lord a corrupt thing. For I am a great king, saith the Lord of hosts, and my name is dreadful among the heathen. His name is dreadful among the heathen. You know what I'm saying? That's why uh, those so-called Jews, the white Jew, you know, they won't say the name Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. They know better. They won't even utter that shit. Not, not, like, not that shit, but that name. You know what I'm saying? They won't utter that. They know the power. They know the power behind that, and they know what comes with that name. You know, and it's crazy that they know it, and two thirds of you fucking niggas don't know it. You know, y'all don't know to, 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 to fear how about Shem how was shot. You don't see what he did to us. Your brothers had the slavery signed up earlier. That's all through the Most High. All that wicked shit. I mean, it's not wicked, but his judgment wasn't wicked. But all the wicked things that Esau did to us, he fucking allowed it because we deserved that. You know what I'm saying? So you you y'all niggas dumb enough not to fear a power like that? Somebody who could just uproot your whole nation and put you all in slavery, no matter what you uproot your whole nation. Negro, Latino, and Native American all got fucked up by Yahweh by the spirit of Yahweh Shimon. No matter if you're down inside, you still gonna pay for it. Right? Most high, you never I mean the most high, nothing's impossible. You know the most high. Like when the brother showed me that video yesterday, you could be in the spiritual world right now, the most high throw your spirit down here to burn and shit. Yep. In America, you never, there's no escaping the most high. Yep. You know? No escaping his judgment. You got it. This is Matthew chapter 15. I'm gonna start at, I'm gonna start at seven. It says, ye hypocrites, well did Isaiah prophesy of you saying, this people draw up nigh unto me with their mouth and honoreth me with their lips. But their heart is far from me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you niggas. You fucking niggas. And when I say niggas, I'm talking about you Latinos and you Native Americans too. Y'all, y'all niggas too. You know what I'm saying? That's what y'all do. Y'all honor the Lord with your mouth. You know what I'm saying? All praise Jesus. You know God, 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 God. But your heart far from Him. You know what I'm saying? You would, you would go to church then commit adultery that night. Go to so-called church, or you commit adultery with a woman that's in that so-called church. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas smoking cigarettes in the parking lot. Y'all niggas doing all kind of shit. 
you know? So you can't just, the Most High is not no fucking idiot, man. You can't honor the Heavenly Father with your mouth, you know what I'm saying, and say you love him, because love is following his commandments. So that pisses the Heavenly Father off when y'all do that. Y'all niggas be in there talking about y'all love God and Uthi Woo, but y'all doing all this wickedness, you know what I'm saying? Y'all eating pork right after you praise, calling on him or praising him. I mean, y'all ain't using the right name anyway, but you know what I'm, you know what I'm getting at. Y'all some niggas, man, you can't do that, you know? Right, it says verse nine. But in vain they do worship me teaching for doctrines. Right, but in vain. Y'all worship, that's what the Heavenly Father says, y'all worshiping, worshiping him in vain. One, because y'all not calling, calling him by the name. Or, or the son, y'all not saying Yahweh Shem, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah. you are saying Jesus Christ, God. You know, so y'all y'all worshiping the, the Heavenly Father in vain because he hates your ways. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's also a uh, commandment. That's not utter, utter the uh, name of an idol. That's not utter the name of the God. So you ain't even supposed to speak the false name out your mouth. Right? You hear it, you got like, like IUIC and other camps like that, Christ and Yeshua. And all type of dumb shit, that's, that's a commandment that you're not even utter any other name besides it. Right. And the nigga Nate know the name. You know, you know the name, nigga. We got you on tape. Not us personally, nigga, but everybody. The spirit got you on tape, nigga. Saying you how about shit, y'all shot. Now you talking some Christ shit. Now you talking about the shit, man. Real. Blue. I had just seen that video. Y'all had seen it a while ago. Nigga Blue with the chip on his hand and shit. Most I gonna kill you niggas, man. You gonna fuck y'all up, man. Y'all, y'all make y'all y'all trying to make it seem like the most higher life. Y'all be so busy trying to come at GMS and apostles GMS on down. Nigga, we ain't nobody. You know what I'm You know what I'm saying? Y'all coming at y'all watching y'all shot. So when you blue, when you had that chip on your arm, you was basically mocking y'all y'all watching y'all shot. You was mocking. You know what I'm saying? The niggas, uh, what's the nigga? The one uh, in the 12 men of valor camp. He said it was so. Some dude talking shit about that. He was in the camp, got kicked out. Talking shit about their camp, telling brothers personal business on the on the comment board and shit. It's like you fucking. Those are servants of the Lord, man. That's why the scripture say you can't if you offend these little ones. Little kids, that's great man. That's deep as fuck, man. You might as well commit suicide. Like the one nigga that was leaving shit on our page. I don't, I don't even know you, bro, but he was leaving shit, like little shit on our page. Dude with the shoes. Like the one that was standing, oh. he kept standing up under the tree. The wood shoe, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, leaving shit on our plane, trying to blow down and shit. You know, the most I gonna kill you for that, nigga. Straight up. Big dude. Big dude. So called white people, y'all going into slavery according to the Bible, man. Right. Look at the smile and shit. This is uh, verse 9. It says, But in vain they do, they do worship me, teaching for doctrines, the commandments of men. And he called the multitude and said unto them, Hear and understand, not that which goeth into the mouth defileth the man, but that which cometh out of the mouth, this defileth the man. Right, so it's not the philosophies that you take in that defiles you. It's when you regurgitate those philosophies and, and, and scatter his sheep even more. Because you'll fuck around and, and, well, you can't deceive the elect, but you 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 uh... Time, time, time. That's what I'm saying. Coming with some Muslim shit, five percent of shit. You know all you niggas bugged out, man. You fucking supreme mathematic niggas. I be seeing you niggas online too, talking all that shit about Egypt, nigga. If Egypt is so great, why that shit fall like that? So obviously it's, it's not that great. You know what I'm saying? If it's so great. Why the fuck they ain't helping you? Right. You nigga, you fucking niggas, you wouldn't go back to Egypt anyway. It's not like, cause a lot of you niggas be having money and shit. You know, we the, we the servants of the Lord, Lord willing. So, you know, he brings us to a low state so we can focus on him, man. But you niggas, you really niggas be having money and shit. So why you niggas don't go to Egypt, nigga? Because you love America. One, you love your oppressor. You trust in oppression, so you love Esau. And two, you niggas wouldn't know what to do out there, man. Don't fuck with y'all out there. Egypt hasn't been rocking since we left that right. bitch. Where Every time we leave something, it, it gets destroyed, man. That baby went to ruins, man. Ain't nothing in Egypt but sand and, and dust. Egypt became a ruin, man. All you so-called white people, y'all going to slavery according to the Bible. Come. Right! That's why we the sort. We get a earth flavor. Yeah. Wherever we at, they, they land gonna prosper. Until we 
stuff like that, they're gonna get rich off of us just to flee there. Right. But as soon as we leave, they're gonna fall apart. Shit. That's a great point. Just look, look at look at Babylon. I mean, this shit ain't. I mean, he took Jake off this fucking place, man. We fall in one day. One day, this shit'll be done. Everything comes from Jacob. He Jacob is a form of all things. Everything we do, everything on the planet, man. All your fucking trends, everything you like to do, the fucking any even the little inventions that you people fucking uh, prosper off of, we invented that shit. You know what I'm saying? Jacob is a form of all things. Oh, oh, what up, baby? <laughs> Verse 12. I right know. Then came his disciples and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Pharisees were offended after they heard this saying? Oh, oh. Yeah. Well, no, 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 no. It actually, it, it breaks it down eventually. Oh, okay. right quick. But he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly Father hath not planted shall be rooted up. Let them alone, they be blind leaders of the blind. And hey, it's so lucky. Uh, Every plant that the heavenly Father didn't plant is going to get rooted up. And who did the Heavenly Father plant? Great millstone. Everything else is gonna get rooted up. The Heavenly Father's gonna pull you motherfuckers, man. He's gonna destroy you niggas, man. And you and you scoffing niggas think it's a game. Like we just be out here, you know, talking and shit. You know what I'm saying? But the Heavenly Father's gonna roll on you niggas, you know? It's gonna be terrible how he's gonna roll. He's terrible, you know what I'm saying? Ala what it? Alasaja, demon like power, that's what the heathens used to call him. Yeah, 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 Kyle. Heavenly Father is terrible, man. I mean, he's merciful too, but he's terrible. He's gonna fucking roll on you niggas, man. We just hope we don't get caught up in that crossfire with y'all. Fuck y'all here. It says, both, it says, and if the blind lead the bot, if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. Uh. Then answered Peter and said unto him, declare unto us this parable. And Yahweh shall say, are ye also without understanding? Do not ye yet understand that whatsoever enter in at the mouth goeth into the belly and is cast out into the draught. But those things which proceed out of the mouth come forth from the heart, and they defile the man. For out of the heart proceed evil thoughts, murders, adultery, adulteries, fornications, thefts, false witness, blasphemies. These are the things which defile a man. And everything he just said when he read through that list. Uh, of all those wicked things is Jake is a pro at. Right. Jake is number one in all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Jake, no, all you so called white people, y'all going into slavery according That's to right. the Bible. Enjoy America while you can. Right. Get your last meal. That's right. it. He said, But to eat with unwashing hands, the fall of not a man. Because you know, the Pharisees was coming up scoffing against the disciples because they came in to eat without washing their hands. So. You know, he got to cutting them up right there. And yeah, that's you dumbass niggas. Uh, Nate and you niggas, you law, the law, the law, the law, the law. Nigga, the law where's the fringes? Yeah, the law can't save you niggas. Fucking stupid. Right. Got a precept for you. The law can't save you. It's about the Nate. law wasn't made for a righteous man anyway. It's uh, made for the sinners for their correction. Uh, uh, uh. You got a precept? Yeah, uh, you want me to read it back here or somebody else get it? Oh, it's on you. Uh, on you. Uh, this is Jeremiah 5. 5 and 20 be declared this in the house of Jacob and publish it in Judah saying hear now this O foolish people and without understanding which have eyes and see not which have ears and hear not blinded. that's it uh, most high blinded you niggas you know two thirds of you niggas I mean you gonna have a, one third the multitude of women and children you get uh, Lord willing that they'll be saved by a man that's in the truth yeah, a lot of these motherfuckers scared to come up because they afraid to see people they went to high school with, man. Fuck these it. People, man, man like, fuck these dudes. I come see you. What up, man? I'm right here. You know? You know? They they had emotions in their face where they couldn't comprehend or it wouldn't sit in in their mind. They couldn't take it as the truth. So, I'm saying, yeah, like you going to give up your salvation because you some motherfucker you went to high school with? That's what I'm saying. Like, who you fear? You fear the most high. Who, where, where, where a motherfucking see you? Man, fuck that. I mean, what fuck the fuck them. That's some, that's, a, that's a woman's spirit. Yeah, that's if you're a woman's spirit. Like that, dog, that's, that's weak as fuck. That's weak you as fuck. You're caring about who, who see you. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. that's why, you about to rule these nations with a rod of iron, man. Right. You, know? you don't want that. You'd rather look cool and shit. Right. Look, look cool. Look cool, nigga. What the fuck? This shit is done. Yeah. Yeah. America is finished, man. America is about to be destroyed. And the so-called white man, woman, and child is going into slavery, man. That's right. I'm tired of seeing white people smile, man. Bopping around and shit, man. But we got it. We miserable in this bitch. 
this is the release. This is when, and like the brother said, when it's waiting for Sunday, this is the release. This is what you come out and do. You tell the white man he's a demon, he's going into slavery. That Wu Sai. You know, <laughs> tell the other nations they're going into slavery. Uh -huh. Tell these whole ass women they're going to be in check, you know. This is therapeutic, man. <laughs> Like that, Women going into slavery too. Yup. Right now, you know what I'm saying? They, they, this they rule shit too. You know what I'm saying? They over us. They get to do whatever the fuck they please. They don't got to answer to nobody. Just like the so-called fucking white man. Right. So to a certain extent, these women they going into fucking slavery too. That's right. What you got? This is Matthew. Oh, right quick. This is Matthew chapter eight. I start at nine. It says. For I am a man under authority, having soldiers under me. And I say to this man, go, and he goeth. And to another, come, and he cometh. And to my servant, do this, and he doeth it. When Yahweh heard it, he marveled and said to them, that follow, verily I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. And I say unto you, that many shall come from the east and west, and shall sit down with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. That's a good scripture. You know? So, so they're gonna be they're gonna get caught up in that in them nukes. And they said it's an unquenchable fire. Mm -hmm. You know? Can you can you fathom that? Like I don't know if you ever got burned by say an iron, an oven, or uh, whatever the case may be. I mean, I like to uh, when I was younger, I used to like to play with fire and shit. So to a degree, I used to like get burned. You know, play with fire, you get burned. That's the saying. So. You get burned, but you kind of like snatch yourself away. It's a quick burn, but you overcome it. That unquenchable fire is when it stay there. You know, you set the iron on you. And that's a torture method, by the way, that some of these like wicked niggas in these gangs do. I used to see that on like gangland when I was in the world watching this shit. Like them uh, Zopon and Haitians, Levites. Um, they, 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 they torture you by sitting a hot iron or torture you with like an actual torch on like a part that don't kill you so quick, just to torture the shit out of you. You know what I'm saying? So. And to add on what the brother said about the unquenchable fire, you gotta realize that the scriptures tell you that the most high is the consuming fire. So his spirit is gonna be in that fire. So you know it's gonna be hot to the motherfucker. He's gonna be, especially for you Jakes, you know what I'm saying? The most high is gonna fuck the Jakes up, man. Because y'all is children. So I mean he's gonna judge the whole world, but Jake is gonna, man, I'm telling you, Jake gonna catch a bad one in these times, you know. Even before the missiles, the most high is gonna, is gonna fuck Jake up. You know? That's right. Uh, Isaiah, well, I'm gonna switch. Uh... Isaiah chapter 1, verse 9. Except the Lord of hosts had left unto us a very small remnant, we should have been as Sodom, and we should have been like unto Gomorrah. Right, so the nation of Israel would have been consumed like Sodom and Gomorrah if the Heavenly Father didn't leave that remnant. And what's that remnant? The elect. The hopeful. We're the hopeful elect. You know? That's the remnant. That's who's gonna come out here and exalt the Heavenly Father's name. You know, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah. That's who's not gonna care who sees them coming by on the street and shit. You know, whether it be some nigga they knew, a bitch, a family member, you know what I'm saying? Whatever the fuck it is, you know what I'm saying? Because we care about our salvation. You know what I'm saying? We're not, you know, out here trying to impress nobody. We just doing what we told, you know? And that's come out here and give judgment to the Gentiles.